This special broadcast of AEAC is made possible by Crossman Corporation, Boomer X USA, Air Venturi, Hots on USA, Day State, Optison Optics, Diana Air Guns, Predator Pellets, Air Arms, and Virox Sport. And you guys know the best way to thank them. Folks, we're here in the Hot Sun USA booth with Operations Manager Cecil Bays. Cecil, it's good to see you again, sir. Good to see you again, Steve. Today, we're going to take you through three guns, right? We're going to yeah. touch on the brand new Vectus. We're going to hit this uh, the Nova Star, and we're going to touch on the uh, the new Flash Wood. Is yes. what they're calling. It. Is that right? Okay. So, the we'll floor is yours. Yeah, here. please take them through it, Cecil. Okay. So this is our Vectus, the Hot Sun Vectus. All synthetic, you can see. It has fully shrouded QE technology, so it's nice and quiet. Also comes up with these uh, flip-up sights. Uses our Roto Index magazines, but you know, same best for last. This is actually a lever action, pre-charged pneumatic. So you top it off, you're going to get around 35 shots on a fill. You've got the same magazines that our Flash uses. You can see that flash DNA in the receiver and everything. Mm -hmm. So same power levels, same shot counts as you're going to see in the flash, but in a lever action. Okay, so the flash, if you guys aren't familiar, comes in 1772225, right? Correct. It's pre-charged pneumatic. Correct. You're basically three to four hundred dollar price point. Yep. In, in that ballpark. And if you haven't seen of them, seen them already, I've already done two full reviews on the flash carbine in 25 and the Flash Pup in 22. Correct. Okay. So this is basically just an under lever? Lever action. Lever action is what we're calling yep. it. Cowboy Backing action, like lever action. Okay. So, so long um, and short of it is you can basically stay up on target easier. Exactly. You don't have to break your cheek well to cycle it. Mm -hmm. You can cycle it. Okay. Manual right. safety so you don't have to worry about shut or uh, disengaging the safety every time you cycle it. Okay, good, they'll like that. So I'm seeing something on here that, that maybe you can just drill down on a little bit for them. Um, there's no QE up here, something a little different. It is QE okay. technology, it has baffles, so it is moderated. Um, so it does reduce the noise at approximately 50%. Okay. For your downrange noise. Um, and it has a full length barrel shroud. And uh, you know, it gives you a little bit more stability to your barrel. Yeah. Um, get definite, definitely get excellent accuracy with this. Um, I've had it out in the field. It's a joy to carry. It's maybe seven pounds. It's just under seven pounds without a scope, as you see it right here. Um, it, it's just a great, great hunting, great plinking rifle. Really fun, light. Just a, I, I love this rifle. I'm it's feeling. Great. I'm like really feeling like this whole one piece. Jazz, like I feel like I could take this thing in the woods, and it's I, you know it's like you're taking a tank out there. I mean, the, look at I mean you guys are always asking me about you could take it. So you, well, you guys are always asking me about barrel bands and worrying about knocking your barrel out of alignment exactly. with your scope, and I just don't foresee this happening at all with this. And it's got a nice tactical feel. It's really light. Can you talk to them back home a little bit about these sights you're including? Yes. What are they called, and can you tell us a little bit about them? These are very similar to our ghost ring sights on the Escort shotguns. Um, and so they're flip up. You can flip them up and down. And uh, you can put your scope on there. You can have these so if you remove your scope or you have see-through mounts where you can see them. Uh, they have True Glow. And you probably might be able to see it on the camera there a little bit. True Glow sights. And if you used any kind of diopter sight, like a AR, um, M16 style diopter sight. They're very similar and intuitive for that. And uh, the first one that I pulled out of the box when we first got the, the very first samples, I didn't adjust the sights at all. And I shot a dime sized group at 10 yards, dead where I was aiming. Awesome. Will that happen every time? I don't know, but I'd like to, I hope so. It's just a nice option, you know, if you're shooting inside a 25. You know, it's just a, it's a nice weight reduction, weight, weight reducing, cost reducing, you know, option for everybody back home. Right, and you've got the open sights if you want them. If not, you can just un loosen them up, and you just pull them right off. Are these available um, as a separate accessory? 
for everyone if they wanted to purchase them and put them on if they or wanted, whatever? If they wanted to purchase these sites, they are available. Um, what you do is you go to hotsonusa.com and uh, fill out the customer service form, select uh, parts request, and then just use the part number off of the diagram for the Vectus or the Bully. This is the same sites that come on the Hotson Bully. Okay, yep. So, yeah. what, what price point were we talking about here in the Vectus? This here is going to retail for $3.99. Okay. Um, I believe there is a retailer out there right now taking pre-orders for a little bit less than that. Yeah. So if you look around. About three sixty. dollars if it. I think I know what he's talking about. Was it that might about be right? something like that. Yeah, I think I saw that too. And before you put that up, just what are you most proud of about the Vectus, Cecil? You know, the Vectus is just a really providing something that the customer had been asking for. That the air gunner out there. There's not a lot of lever action PCPs. I can only think of one other one off the top of my head, and it's definitely not in this price point. Um, it's not this light, and you know, I mean, it's just providing something that's not out there in the market. Mm -hmm. um, I've, I've hunted with this extensively already, and it's a joy to carry in the field. It's accurate, and it cycles flawlessly. I like everything you're telling me. Well. Let's take a quick break so Cecil can catch his breath and his wits, and we'll be right back with another gun. All right. You can see the big doo-doo eating grin on my, on my face. Cecil, this is the new Nova Star? Yes. Which looks familiar, but it's new because of some, some changes. It's familiar. So, it's, it's a bit of our, our Nova, the Hot Sun Nova, with some upgrades to it. Um, what you got is this nice thumb hole stock going on here. Adjustable cheek crest, adjustable back, uh, butt pad for angle and height. Um, you're also gonna notice that the receiver, it's a little bit hard to see with the scope on it, but the receiver is a lot thinner. Well, that's because what we did, you got storage for a spare magazine in the stock there. We used our Roto Index magazines so that we can eliminate the cycling system for the magazine. So what that's going to do is it's going to give you a little bit of weight reduction, actually quite a bit of weight reduction. We can make the receiver, the actual top of the receiver, a lot thinner, a lot less material, less weight. We also upgraded to a carbon fiber bottle. The Nova had the aluminum bottle on there. You lose about a pound off of the gun by switching to the carbon fiber bottle. Still 250 bar fill. Still right around 500 cc's. It's 480 cc's in this bottle. But you're going to get nearly the same shot count. Like, I think it's 10 shots out of 100. So instead of 110, you're getting 100 shots in 22. All right. So definitely great high shot count. Floated, shrouded barrel. You're also going to notice it doesn't have that long QE shroud. And we were looking at it, as we were looking at this rifle, we were thinking, okay, well, what do we want to do to, to give the air gunners what they want? And we looked at this, and we did look at a QE version, and we thought, you know, the, the, the Nova with the QE shroud was a little long. If you're bench shooting, it's great. But this is also a great hunting rifle and a great field rifle. So with this shroud, it's a thicker shroud. It create, provides better support for the barrel protection for the barrel you can you're not going to bend it by catching it on a branch or something like that and i was going to ask what happens if i unscrew the end there so that's one half inch unf correct okay. so if you want to get an aftermarket moderator you can just screw it right on there aftermarket moderators have become very popular this is definitely the year for aftermarket moderators yes and so we decided that rather than put the qe on there we will have QE shrouds available if the customer would like to purchase it separately, and we can upgrade it to a QE. But we, the, the market is really going towards what people want to have that aftermarket moderator. So we thought that they would a better, you know, better mixture of uh, production rifle that you can upgrade if you'd like. It's not overly loud without it. So. And to back up on you a little bit, I love everything you're saying, and I love what you've done with this thicker shroud. It just, it, I feel like it modernizes or brings the whole gun, you know, up into what you said, what they're all looking for. But to back Cecil up just a little bit, if you're not familiar with this platform, this originated as the Nova, Correct. right? And, I've, and it, if you go to AEAC, I've done a full review on the Nova. I think it was in 22 or 25, I can't remember, but 
In case they haven't seen it, yeah, I think so too. Can you just maybe give them a blanketing overview of what the Nova is in the Hot Sun lineup? Like, what what gets you most excited about the Nova or the Nova Star? Well, the Nova and the Nova Star are, are field target type rifle, bench rest. Um, it's really our higher end up on that Galatian level. The Galatian is probably our, our flagship high end rifle, but the Nova Star is fitting right in there, especially with that bench rest um, field target crowd. It's, you can adjust your velocities, get you right at 20 foot pounds if you want to shoot hunter field target. You can drop it down to 12 foot pounds if you want to shoot WTF, WFTF. So it gives you a lot of options. Great accuracy, high shot count, high fill pressure. And if you want to crank it up, you know, you can get 45, 50 foot pounds of energy out of this very easily in 22. And, and price point here you are? You're sitting right at MSRP of 899, but as we all know, you know, MSRP isn't always what you pay. 800-ish is probably where the dealers are at, are at on them. Okay, and the, the stock is absolutely jaw-dropping, and I am so glad to see you do that, because as these guys know, I'm a huge advocate of your brand, and, and the stocks were always kind of one of those places where I felt like I, I, wanted, I, I wanted to see more of you. And you guys definitely, you know, and I didn't really vocalize that, but you guys were definitely listening to somebody, and this is absolutely beautiful. Are these being made in Turkey? Yes, these the are made the in our factory. Okay. Turkish walnut, real Turkish walnut in our factory. Um, and we're really proud of the stocks. I mean, the, the quality of the wood, the quality of the stocks that we have on our rifles, um, especially our higher end Galatians, the Nova series, um, they're, they're really high quality and a lot of work. I mean, you look at the laser etching. Beautiful. The, the, yeah, it's nice and narrow. You want to hold it up for them and show them how narrow it is? Yes, it's nice and narrow, but it's got a nice hold right here. Um, so, you know, when you're firing offhand, it's a great rifle for that. And the, the, the style of the stock fits your hand really well. It's not too wide. It's not like a big old beaver tail. Mm -hmm. uh, very comfortable. Weight is very well for, for shooting offhand or on a bench or whatever. You still got a mount here to mount your bipod. So it's neat seeing this carbon fiber bottle. Do you foresee you going to more of those across your lineup or kind of sticking with this aluminum and carbon fiber mix? Um, we're probably going to have the mix moving forward, but a lot of the, the higher end stuff is going to have the, the carbon fiber. Um, you know, just because, you know, we know, we understand, you know, we listen to the customer like the Vectus, you know, they, people wanted a lever action, a light, in, you know, um, affordable lever action. We provide that. So. We're looking at, you know, we get to cut a little bit of weight, you know. I, yeah, sure. I think we've heard from everybody that we need our guns need to take a diet. So we we listen to the customer and we're working on it. I like how we're all being honest and transparent with one another. So Well that's awesome. I don't yeah. think there's anything we forgot. Just to recap, one seven seven two 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 five, powerful, tunable, now more compact with the fatter barrel shroud, one half inch UNF on the end for the moderator. Um, 800-ish price point. Yes. Awesome. Carbon fiber bottle. Like it. All right. We're going to grab one more. That's the new Flash Woodstock, which is super cool. Can wait for you guys to see it. We'll be right back. So here it is, guys. If you've been tuning into AEAC for the last, geez, it's probably been nine months since we did the Carbine 25, maybe six months, something like that. This is a gun I've been a huge advocate of because it comes in at that three to $400 price point. And you just get so much for your money, especially when I reviewed most recently that Bullpup 22. I was personally blown away at how smooth the cycling was, how great the trigger was, how it was quiet, accurate, powerful, lightweight. It just seemed to do so much for the price point. But then I can see with this, which is also a flash, you've dolled it up a little bit. You yes, want to talk have... about it a little bit, Cecil? Yeah, this is the flash wood. Um, it's the flash rifle. You're getting the same power, same calibers as the flash. But of course, you know, we had the synthetic version. People were like, you know, I really like a wood stock on that, and we listened. So you were mentioning about our wood stocks and how you know you where they really come like from. That. Yeah, exactly. And you can see, especially in the flash wood here, you look at the stippling and the laser etching up here. You know, the, the, the factory has really stepped up their game with making some high quality Turkish walnut stock. Now, if I remember, the Flash Pup came in 
at 400 ish because of the wood stock right Correct. and then the carbine came in at 300 ish because of the polymer stock Correct. so this is basically a carbine with a wood stock so where are we going to land? You're, you're, look, you're landing right about that, that flash pup price point. So it's going to be around $400. Okay. Um, they did uh, change the bolt a little bit. I see that. For the wood stock, kind of give you that polished appearance, you know, make it look a little bit, a little bit more elegant. Um, and it gives you a little bit more purchase for when you're, you're charging the rifle. Uh-huh. Anything new on the trigger? No, the trigger is still the Quattro trigger. Okay. Um, Two-stage adjustable. Uh, the air cylinder is slightly different on the the flash wood, so oh, uh, is. this stock will fit on a regular flash, but it won't fit quite right. Okay. The, the, the air cylinder on the flash wood is a little bit wider and a little bit shorter. You notice it doesn't stick quite all the way okay. up there. Okay, yes. And what they did is they did that on the flash wood to kind of move some of the weight towards the back mm -hmm. for a little bit better balance. Okay, I'm glad you touched on that because I know what they're all thinking at home. Yeah. Maybe they bought the carbine. Can I buy this stock and slap it on my carbine? But, exactly. but not, not, not quite. And you know, and also with all the new products, you got to remember that it's going to take a little while for production to catch up with demand um, for the like just the stock to be available. Well, when is the is the new flash wood available now? No, the flash wood will be available in about three months. Okay. Um, so it's January, so around March, April time frame. Okay. One seven seven two 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 five, just like yep. the other ones. Exactly. QE technology. Now, are we going to see this bolt migrate over to the flash pup and the flash carbine, or is that going to be exclusive to the wood? It's going to be exclusive to the newer models of this. Um, we'll see what the factory decides to do. Um, but the bolt is actually different. Like you can't upgrade your flash to this bolt. Okay. Because as you can see, the, the original flash has a bolt that goes through the bolt handle. Mm -hmm. And this actually screws on from the other side. Okay, gotcha. Um, so there is some slight differences between this and the flash and the flash pump. Mm -hmm. But the basic DNA and power supply and everything is all the same. It's neat how you did this. It's kind of like a pistol and a skeleton all in one, but I can see that it's kind of a nice place to rest on a bag yes. as well if you want to do some bench shooting because these are highly accurate guns. The barrels are made in Turkey by Hotson and you guys are doing, you know, they always wonder, is it a Lothar Walther barrel? Is it something else? But you guys are doing that all your own, right? Yes, we make our own barrels in our factory. Um, it's the same style and equipment like a Lothar Walther, but it is not a Lothar Walther barrel. Um, but they're, they're made in our factory out of German steel. Uh, button rifled, uh, shrouded, or uh, excuse me, choke Choked. barrels. Yep. So, I mean, high quality, highly accurate, as many people have shown on YouTube and TV. And um, yes, it's we're very proud of our barrels and, and the the fact the fact that we are vertically integrated and everything you see here is made in our factory from the ground up, raw material, uh, except for the scope. But the rifle itself, everything is made in our factory raw material to a finished product. So to Cecil's point, in our industry, there are air gun assemblers and there are air gun manufacturers. Correct. A true manufacturer is, is the company that has the control and they build all the parts in the gun so they work together in that great harmony. That also helps a lot with cost, I'm presuming, and, cost and it lets and you go where you want to go with the product. And quality Seriously. control. Mm -hmm. We control the quality of our product. We're not depending on another factory, another manufacturer to make sure they're doing their job right. We do everything from the ground up. I like it. What are we forgetting? Um, I don't believe we're forgetting anything on this one. We pretty much covered all the bases. Cool. Um, as always, Cecil, Operations Manager for Hot Sun USA here in the States. Thank you so much for taking us through those guns. And uh, oh, I know what I wanted to ask Cecil. Right before I left for SHOT Show, I got a shipping notification from these guys that said 24 pounds. What's that all about? Well, we sent you a box and we decided that we were gonna send you, you have a 22 caliber Vectus waiting for you when you get home from okay. the show. Okay, cool. We timed it just right. Yeah. And a 25 caliber Air Max. Okay, so coming to AEAC, full review. This winter, this spring, sometime in that ta timetable, 22 Vectus and 25 Air Max. Do you want to touch real quick on the Air Max, what it is? Yeah, we Kind can... of set the stage for the upcoming review? Definitely. Um, the Air Max was actually released by Hotson a few years back. We didn't import it. Um, 
until this year, or excuse me, last year, around July, um, one of the retailers started uh, selling the Air Max. It's essentially a full boss on steroids. Okay. Um, you've got a, you're still 200 bar fill in the, the bottle, but you got 400 cc's compared to a little bit under 300 cc's in a um, bull boss. Same long barrel QE, um, magazine system, side cocking lever, true bullpup action. Yep, it's where, it's where you need it, right up front over the trigger. Exactly. Like mm -hmm. And uh, this beautiful wood stock. Love so, what you guys are doing with these stocks. Oh yes, so and so see. what you're getting is you're getting high shot count with great accuracy. Okay. And the Air Max, we're really excited about bringing the Air Max in. So this is like your Corvette bullpup. Exactly. Your high power bullpup. Exactly. I like it. Awesome. Guys, thanks again. Cecil, you're a star, buddy. Appreciate Thank you. Thank you very much.